Good morning, car guys and car gals. This is Lou Ramirez, the car guy. And this is Fred Lenartz, the subprime hero. And we are here with a very special guest. And you are definitely going to want to hear about what she's brewing. Yes, you are. We have Katie Maris. She's here all the way from Baja right now. She's having a great time. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, she's at the beach. She's having a. She's enjoying life to the fullest like you're supposed to. And this is something that you all need to learn a little bit about how you do this. So before we do that, get you some, get you some of this. That's where we're going to pivot to question number two, because the right, let's do it. Wise, right? And then it kind of kicks the what's. So I'm going to shift this a little bit because mm -hmm. uh, I understand you, you definitely have family motivation and, and that would be a little too easy of a lob up for you. Um, but I also want to help make sure that we connect to the people that you do want to connect to. So mm -hmm. the question number two on this five liner is who is it at heart that you are truly trying to help? and reach with your message and with your actual mm. testimony? Mm. Men, <laughs> men, I want men. Uh, um, ladies know how to create relationships and they uh, they understand that, they're built that way. I am truly, the what got me into the automotive industry and, and really looking at the female consumer was a really poor car buying experience and, and that, car buying experience was delivered by a man. And as I started to research the, the unbelievable experience gap to show that, you know, 80 to 85% of the world's executives are men and in the industry, in the car, that's higher in the, uh, the automotive industry. And in the auto industry, less than 20% are women delivering the experience. I thought to myself, oh my goodness, we need to make sure that we help, or I help this industry move out of the dinosaur age. And and what I saw is there's a lot of female messaging out here in the industry, but I wanted to make it inclusive of men because men are the ones that are gonna make the difference. I mean, we, we have to be realistic. Women will eventually get there, but men are still at the top. So until we can break that, um, that culture, that kind of boys club culture, mm. we need to make sure that that men understand women and hear the message. So whenever I see that, um, and I think it was at NADA a few years ago, uh, they had um, this uh, survey revealed and they had, you know, this um, amazing, you know, uh, researcher and author come on and speak, but the whole room was filled with women. Women don't need to hear this message, men do. So my audience yeah. is male executives, male sales associates, and women will love my book. Don't get me wrong. It's funny. I, um, our neighbor is a chef, like a world famous chef down here. And, um, and I gave him my book and, and I said, read it, let me know. And his wife read it as well. And she's like, well, that's what I've been saying forever. So yeah, you should listen to it. And he's like, well, the way it's said, I actually get it because it's not the wife just, you know, and I hate to use you know, the nagging wife term, but you know, that's what men think. I, that's not what we are, but that's what men think. Um, but it's done in a way where men actually will listen and be open to it. And my book is, is all scientifically researched. There's science, science behind all of my points and um, the way we're physiologically built the way we're made. And so a long roundabout way, men are the people I am trying to target. Women, I will. I, I mean, they they get the message. They get it. Men, they need a little more help. 
<laughs> I'm not going to tell you. I've been trained for, I've been married now for 17, or I've been together with my wife for 18 years, married for 15 plus. And she's wow. Incredible. Okay. So she's, you know, I do know, you know, and I'm very fortunate and I'm constantly in evolution with her. You know what I mean? I'm constantly growing mm -hmm. with her and, and she's an amazing woman. I'm very, very, very lucky. Um, she's beautiful. That's she's, awesome. hard. she's everything that a partner should be, you know, when it comes to whether she's a man or woman, she's just a great partner. And she definitely mm -hmm. has coached me throughout the years to help me become a better human, you know, not just, totally. not just that young guy that she first met. That was just, you know, all just trying to show off all the time. You know, now it's now I'm still it's, trying know. to show up. Yeah, I I'm do. I try to, sometimes, you know, sometimes. Does that impress you? Not at all. We, we no. both have sons that are like athletes that are, <laughs> you know, so we, we both still try to keep up with them. So we're always constantly yeah. trying to show off. So, yeah, <laughs> but no, no, but no, no, it is, it, it's for up. men. That's and, and it makes sense. That's, that's that awesome. actually makes a lot of sense because it's good to have a um, to be able to understand that side of the human psychology, the way that really thinks. Because a lot of guys, you're right. You know, a lot of men who don't, you know, to include myself, I'm not 100 percent perfect. You no one is. Um, but there's no, times that, you know, no you have to, right. You have to, you know, instead of relying on your natural instinct, you have to realize, uh, realize, uh, rely on, I should say, um, on your on something that you learned, somebody showed you the way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the natural instinct doesn't work, like you said. Mm -hmm. Our brains are different, you know, and way we, they are. Yeah, and in and, and that's science, and so they're different to the point where we use them completely different, different sides. We, yes. the way we process yes. thought, emotions, and all that stuff is different. So it's good to mm -hmm. be like you. It's good to be coached on that, to understand that, to be able to, you know, like. I just watched the movie um, White Man Can't Jump. I don't know. It's, I'm kind of giving my age outs. I love that movie. Oh. I watched it with my son. But Rosie Perez is in that movie, and she tells Woody Billy. Harrelson in the morning she wakes up. She's like, Billy, I'm thirsty. Billy. And he gets up to go get her a glass of water. And as he comes back, he hands her the glass of water. And she goes, I didn't want you to give me something to drink. When I say I'm thirsty, I want you to understand, and you need to tell me that you understand that I'm thirsty. You too understand <laughs> what thirsty feels like. I love that scene to this day. I'll never forget that scene. It always makes me laugh because it's mm -hmm. so true. That's that's the psychology of that. You know, it's understanding. It's mm -hmm. not just, you know, they say she was like, you know, men just want to fix the problem really quick. Here, here, it's fixed. Instead of understanding oh, yeah. what the problem is and trying to figure out what the true problem and what and being able to sympathize and empathize with that person. Well, that's that's exactly that's exactly it. So men are very transactional. And I go like into the book, I talk, I go right down to that men want a, a, a very um, utilitarian experience in and out black and white. This is what I want where a woman wants more of a hedonic experience, um, an experience of the senses. So, you know, the way it smells, the way it feels, the temperature, the way she feels, um, the, the way the lighting is, she wants the whole experience, whereas a man is just get me in, get me out. So <laughs> there, is a, there is a big difference. And, and here's the thing is that I believe, and this is probably what's really different about my message than any other message that's out there. I believe women need men to be successful. I don't like, so I believe a leader without followers is just somebody taking a walk. And, and while I am all for uh, the female movement, because I am, because I want to see women rise to the top, I yeah. believe that, that us women without the sponsorship of the 90% of men that are still in the executive level, we are just a bunch of women taking a stroll. Right. I think I think it isn't going to happen. Yeah. We'll still remain at fifty percent if we don't have male sponsorship. Like it is, we need each other, and and that's the thing. We need each other, and it's not women against men or men against women. It is a, truly about equality, and it's truly about needing each other and helping each other and accepting the fact that, like you said, we're different, right? So you know, any good team that you build, you want to build a team based off of the strengths you don't have. Men have different strengths than women. So we need to start working together in order to actually see the female movement rise. Oh, and I absolutely love it. I, I'm for me, I'm a mother, I'm a mother's boy, right? I'm a mama, a mama boy. boy. I absolutely <laughs> adore my wife. I think she's the smartest person I know. I think she's the most amazing, you know, creative person I know personally. And so to me, you're right. You know, it it you're right. 90% of the of the executives out there right now are the males. And it's and it's crazy because that's just the way times were. It's just for a long time, men were always the dominant, got paid more. That's just the way it was. Yeah, Obviously, we do feel need that way. Change. You're right. And we need to make a change there. But like you said, it, it takes them to make that change. So you have to teach well, it, it does. And, and it also takes women to be okay with that, you know? And we can't do, you know, I talked about the fact that I joked about my book being the fact, like, 
I couldn't spell worth anything in in college or university or um, in in grade school. I needed a really awesome publisher to help me get there. And it's being humble enough and vulnerable enough to say, hey, I've got these strengths, but this person can help me. And it's, you know, kind of putting our guard down just a little bit in order to to do just that. That's right. That's 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 strong. That's See, the key. That's the key. There's a a correlation there with uh, so many different uh, rhythms that have to be in place for success to happen in any mm -hmm. case scenario. And I 100 percent believe in my heart that we're, we're better together. The hand can't say to the foot, I don't have need of you. And mm. I can't say to a woman, I don't need a woman. I'm telling you, uh, I'm, a, I'm a mama's boy my, myself, but the best thing my wife does for me is mom me. You know what I mean? And make mm -hmm. sure that, that I'm, you know, taken care of on that. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this plug real quick that this message has been brought to you or this brew has been brought by Think Ad Group. That's right. And when I'm saying think, I'm also making that that I'm pitching that I that understanding that we think a lot guys mathematically statistically black and white like you said right mm -hmm. and there's a there, there's a part of our brain that sticks to that mm -hmm. where there's also a part of feeling notion intuition mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we have trained ourselves to not think with but it's key that if we actually activate ourselves in thinking with those feelings, with those emotions, with those strengths, with those uh, fears, with those convictions, that we would actually see better results and better connections with people because it's not always going to be the way the computer breaks. Oh. Down, you know what I mean? The ship is going to sink at, you know, at some point and we have to oh, find yeah. a way to prioritize what has to be prioritized and fight for life from that heart, right? No matter what skills we have, it, the, the mm -hmm. fight has to still come from the heart. And that's ultimately what anybody wants in a relationship is oh, that yeah. it's at heart. You know what I mean? That at and even if it's a business transaction, I want to know that at heart you have a good heart to want to help me. So let me make that connection. It's not yes. always going to be um, plug and play. It sometimes has to be. Well, what are you feeling? What are you thinking now? What are you thinking with your mm -hmm. heart? Where is it that mm -hmm. you're going to with your heart? Not just with your pocketbook in mind. Not just with your quota in mind, not just with your um, with your agenda in mind, right. but with your heart for someone else. Oh. Well, just. and that goes exactly. And that goes back to your why. If you're living your life with your why, if you're living and serving others, then that becomes very easy. And I, I laugh every time I'm on a keynote, you know, I'm on a stage or I'm in doing a workshop, I say the key to providing an experience. And I always say I can write myself out of a job by saying just this. A customer experience, a brand experience, if you could focus on doing for the person, serving the person in front of you, caring for that person, being a genuinely nice human being, everything else will fall into place. That's all Tell it, it is. Tell it. True. That's truth. That's truth. That's that is all truth. It, that is truly all it is. This is truth. And she's from Canada, guys. I mean, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is a world experience. You know, this isn't just us in the United States are like this. This is everybody in the world is like this. Men and women are just Every like human. We're, we're human. We're human. Humans are. doing business with humans. Like, that's, that's it. it. Like, it's, you know, here, you've got to drop the, this is a customer. You've got to look at her or him. And this is a human. And, and the one question I ask when I'm on stage always is, with the show of hands, how many of you rely on your customers to put food on your table? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So all right. of the room goes up, right? All of yeah. them. They, they must, yeah. Everyone. So if you have a problem, and I'm, I, I do, I do ask permission at the beginning of every keynote to say, "Hey, I'm going to be like radically honest with you because I don't know how to be any other way," and then I get the permission to be so. But I'll say the hard truth is if you have a problem with that, then you're not going to survive because your business won't have lights on because customers are the ones that put food on your table. Oh. So if you can't be genuinely interested in your customer, if you can't be genuinely nice and serve your customer, then you're in the wrong industry. You're in the wrong business and you might as well shut your lights off. Yeah, and I'm convinced that you someone just else will. You just won't have you them. won't exactly. You they know, we, be there. we believe in a philosophy. It's we don't, you know, in, in the car business no. for us, in our stores, we don't sell cars there. We solve transportation problems. Right. Um, and and that's mm -hmm. that is a mentality that really, if you really focus on that and you're solving people's problems, it's not just fulfilling, but I mean, it's it's everything. 
it's it's your it's you yeah. you make you you know you benefit the, the money is a byproduct of doing the right thing constantly doing something that you love your passion it about is. helping and the money will come like you know you said you don't worry about money because you don't have to because you know that you're you're doing the right thing and if you keep doing the right thing you're gonna get what you deserve period mm -hmm. whether if whether it's five dollars yeah. well, or well and that's what I focus on not not what's easy not what's easy but what's right because right. a lot of us take the take the easy road. It's it's oh. doing the hard stuff, making the hard decision because I mean it's not it's uncomfortable, but we've got to do what's right cool. in order to have those rewards. And we've got to do it without expectation of receiving. You know, mm -hmm. so you I mean, I'm not a super religious gal. I, I've you know done some research and I mean Adam and Eve were put on this earth for a reason, right? We needed man and woman. We still today need man and woman or else, I mean, the population would dry up and we all would just, you know, not be happy. Like we need man and woman. Um, and we like the Bible says, like the Book of Mormon says, like the Quran says, it's all about serving others. Mm -hmm. If you go back to that fundamental root of how this world started, it was about serving others before yourself. And if you could serve others before yourself in your personal life and in business, then everything else falls into place. Oh, thank you. And then if you put it back to Simon Sinek's, you know, fancy, you know, research, that's that's how you make people feel. Mm, that's and amazing. we've been doing it since the beginning of time. Yes. The beginning of time. And the best have always been able to figure out that time. key. They understand what that what that experience is for their people. You guys for, know what the first directive right. was? The very first directive at the beginning of time was for man, human in general, for when the two of us were together, man and woman. You guys know what that was, huh? Was it let Anybody there be light? <laughs> no, no. Man, tell us. Go, be fruitful and uh, multiply. That's what it is. And yeah. that right there fundamentally is ultimately mm -hmm. what we are to do. I do not believe that we are, again, we're, even the Bible says, you're not to judge a person lest you will be judged. Oh, so we yes. judge, we yes. do not judge their motives, but it does say specifically, this is how you judge someone. You judge them by their fruit. Mm -hmm. The only way that I yeah. can tell if an apple tree is an apple tree is to test its fruit to see if it's there's, there's exactly yeah. And so, but of and like we started off saying earlier, the most important thing is that you are fruitful in every season, right? You when mm -hmm. you plant the seed, you should expect a fruit from it, but you should not mm -hmm. expect much fruit from something that you don't nurture properly. Yeah. That you, you don't fertilize, don't water, right? Water, right? Yeah. That you don't put the right fertilizer too. So when we have a responsibility to be fruitful and multiply, we are supposed to be able to make the connections to help everybody around us grow, which is men, women, the old, the young, the 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 new, the experienced, you know what I mean? At any point that we run into somebody, you should they should be able to run into Katie Mars and say, hey, what do I got to do to grow right now? And she should be able yeah. to deposit a seed that could produce fruit inside of their life. Now mm -hmm. they become the ground. It's up to them to cultivate yeah. the seed deposited. Once sure. you spread the seeds, it's up to them to make it grow, right? We we are to be sowers of the seeds we get. And our, our very first the process, know it, sow it, and, and grow, grow it. it. That's right. Whatever it is that you put into the ground is going to grow. But there is a, a certain sense of you don't just throw it in the ground. You actually got to give it love. You actually got to mm -hmm. care. You know what I mean? Scientifically, if you play nice music around a plant, it will flourish better than if you played destructive. It's amazing how that music. works. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I know. Yeah. Very earth is vibrating with with a with a song. That frequency. You know what I mean? And so yeah. that is the frequency that people mm -hmm. in life run on. And yeah, I, I, believe I, I love that. No matter what business it's in, car guys, car gals, you can activate yourself right now inside of your business to be the brand yes. that people want to jam with oh. before they even get to meet you. We're having to do that. We're making connections with people across the world, and we haven't even shook hands, but we're of the same frequency, right? We are. I mean, yeah. I, can you imagine us on a stage? Hundred percent. Everybody up and getting getting these and letting you do what it is that you're doing, saying what you're saying. <laughs> You know, coffee all over the place, getting people pumped up. You know, making the coffee. Love now. it. Let's do it. Let's make it a reality. That's awesome. And it will be a reality. You know, we have. You know, obviously, we have big dreams and goals in the future. We're just starting, but you know, oh, the, I love it. We definitely. You let me know how I can help you. I appreciate, appreciate that, Katie. That. And we, I mean, you are a brand experience expert. Absolutely. So far, how has been your experience with the Car Guy Coffee Crew? So much fun! Oh my uh, goodness, I love it. I love it. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> We're gonna go on to the third question. You let so you let me talk. 
so it's good. <laughs> you want, you're, you're bringing out such good information. This is the kind of stuff that men and women need to hear. This like you said, group. in particular, men need to understand what's going on on that side because I do believe that they need to get more emotionally involved in life. Um, but the because uh, I do, I know a lot of guys that are not. That's why they're still single. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't, you know, they relationships mm -hmm. fall apart left and right because they're not getting it. They yep. still they still believe that they just have to go to work and come home and everything's going to be okay. You know, and I mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. to like nurture all parts of life, your right. family right. life, your, right. your, even your dogs. If you have dogs, you got to nurture them. You got to give everybody oh, love. For you sure. gotta, you keep a balanced life, you know, across the board, mm -hmm. not just yeah. on the screen. Right. Right. And I think that if you become the oh. person that you're trying to say, get people to buy on, then you actually, they see that you're a real vulnerable person. You, mm -hmm. you actually, you know, engage the same world I engage, have the same feelings I, I have, you know what I mean? You actually make oh, real connections. I love it. And that's what the mm -hmm. human desire is at heart. We want to make connections to people. You know, no, we don't ever want to get into a room and everybody hate our guts. No. You know what I mean? We no. want to no. love, no. We want to love But if you, they do, you, know, you want to make them not hate your guts by the end of the right? conversation. Exactly. You know, and that's and that and that's the thing. You know, <laughs> like you're, you're completely misinterpret everything I'm talking about and then explain what you're trying to say. But right. you know. Katie, it's it's really been it's this has been a lot of fun. I really enjoying yeah, this conversation. In getting to and we're still three. just getting the third so this question is be right broke now. Broke up a little bit. So